Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem using the method of variation of parameters. As a first step, we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square plus a square equal to 0. So from this, m square is minus a square and m is plus or minus a i. This is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta and alpha is 0 beta is small a. Using this we can write the complementary function. The formula is e power alpha x. So let's write the formula first e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. Now substituting the value of alpha as 0 we get e power 0x into c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax. The value of beta is small a. Anyway, e power 0x is 1. So we get complementary function as c1 into cos ax plus c2 into sin ax. Let's compare this with the general form of complementary function which is c1 f1 plus c2 f2. So by comparison we get f1 equal to cos ax and f2 equal to sin ax. Now particular integral formula is p into f1 plus q into f2. For finding p we use minus integral f2 into x dx whole divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and q is integral f1 into x dx whole divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. Anyway, the both the denominator is having this term. So before going for finding p and q, let's find the value of this term that is f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. This is going to be cos ax and f2 is sin ax whole dash minus again cos ax whole dash into sin ax. So cos ax as it is into sin ax differentiation is cos ax into a minus cos ax differentiation is minus sin ax into a and sin ax as it is. So totally we get cos square ax into a then plus sin square ax into a and a we can take common after that the remaining is in the form of cos square theta plus sin square theta so this is cos square ax plus sin square ax that gives 1 so finally it is a now coming for the calculation of p minus integral f2 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So f2 is sin ax and capital X is nothing but on the right hand side we have cot ax. So we have to write cot ax into dx whole divided by a and there is a minus sign outside. Now minus 1 by a we can write outside the integration. This is sin ax into cot is cos ax by sin ax dx. We can cancel these two. The integration of cos is sin. So sin ax by a. So they're going to be minus 1 by a square into sin ax. Now coming to q. q is integral f1 into x 
dx whole divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So f1 is cos ax into capital X is f1 is cos ax and x is cot ax into dx whole divided by a. And let's rewrite the cot as cos ax by sin ax and outside we have 1 by a then we have dx so totally 1 by a integral numerator is cos square ax divided by sin ax dx but numerator can be written as 1 minus sin square ax and I can individually divide by sin ax both the term and into dx we have and we can cancel this and this and 1 by sin a becomes cosecant ax then the second term is minus sin ax dx the integration of cosecant ax is log of cosecant ax minus cot ax since there is a coefficient of x which is a we have to divide by a then minus sin ax integration is plus cos ax by a totally we can take this common denominator a outside and already there is 1 by a now it is becoming 1 by a square bracket open log of cosecant ax minus cot ax plus cos ax so we finished p and q now coming to the particular integral p which is minus 1 by a square into sin ax minus 1 by a square into sin ax p into f1 which is cos ax plus q q is this full term 1 by a square into log of cosecant ax minus cot ax plus cos ax into sin ax because it is q into f2 now combining both we get complete solution which is cf plus pi so y equal to c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax is cf then pi first term is we had minus 1 by a square into sin ax cos ax and when I'm writing the second term we have 1 by a square and sin ax outside the bracket so let's multiply inside the bracket so it is going to be continuation of this plus 1 by a square log of cosecant ax minus cot ax into sin ax then we have to multiply this 1 by a square and sin ax with the cos ax so plus 1 by a square into cos ax into sin ax we find these two terms are similar 1 by a square sin ax cos ax which is minus sign here 1 by a square sin ax cos a square positive so both the terms we can cancel after cancelling the final answer complete solution is c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax then plus 1 by a square into log of cosecant 
ax minus cot ax into sin ax and this log term is in a separate bracket even in the previous term this log term is separate into sin ax 